Hello guys, how's it going everybody? This is Captain S6 Coding and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to read your source code from a jar file into your Eclipse. So, first off, you're going to have the jar file, right? The jar file that you're going to compile the source code from. Okay, so now I'll, I'm going to use my jar file as an example. Okay, so first let's open the Windows Explorer and find the jar file that you're going to compile, decompile, decompile, yeah. And it's in here. And uh, it's in here. And it's in there, okay. Um, so let's just open this file, jar file. This is a working game of Pong and it's been compiled into a jar file. So if you play this, uh, we can play this. It is a fully working jar file or like it's a game, a mini game and it's fully working. And now I'll just close this. And now we're going to decompile it using an application named G JD GUI. So you're going to search for it in the in your browser okay so first open up your browser i'm going to use chrome wait for it okay so now we're in the browser now we'll search for the jd gui and this as you can see from the description jd gui is a standalone graphical utility that display Java source codes of cla of dot class files. You can browse the reconstructed source code with the G JDGUI. Okay, so this is first open the website. Now this is the Java decompiler the <laughs> Java decompiler website or the JDGUI website. And as the description says, um, in Explorer the source of Java and some libraries. New features of Java 5, such as annotations, generic or type enum, are supported. JD GUI and JD Eclipse include JD Core library. Okay. Oh, you see, uh, for instant access to method and fields. Okay, so once you're inside the website of JD GUI, now you're going to click on the download page and then download the JD GUI based on what? Based on your operating systems. So if you have Linux, you're going to download it uh, in you're going to download it in this link. And if you are a Mac user, you're going to download it using this link or this link. Oh, no, no, no. Using that link or this link. Uh, for Linux, there is this link as well. And for Windows user, you can use this. You can use this link or you can use this link. Okay. Oh, and I recommend you to use this or this. But now uh, I'll just use the .zip version of the JD, JD GUI. So let's just click on the link. And then download it. Let's just download it into the folder of code. Create games inside this same folder. Okay, so just wait for the download to finish. Uh, it's almost finished. And it's now, okay, it's finished. Oh no, it's not finished. Show in folder. And I, I guess it's scanning for viruses or something and it's finished and now we'll see in the folder why well, did I just exit that because it's I don't know show in folder now here you have the dot zip of the JD GUI Windows version and now you just have to extract it into any any kind of folder okay so now while we are extracting that, we'll just open the Java Eclipse. 
Okay, let's wait for the eclipse to open. Okay, now we are on. Okay, now we'll open the eclipse based on our project workspace. Just for me on that folder. And okay, so we're going to wait. We're going to wait for the eclipse to load. Maybe it's going to take a bit of time. Okay, now uh, the eclipse is open. And now we're going to use the JD GUI software. Okay, so here it's in here. Okay, so this is literally the, the software you, you're going to need to decompile. Maybe not decompile. Yeah, I guess it, 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 it decompiles your jar file. But you need to like manually copy your 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 code your from the jar file into your clips manually so it's like first you're going to open this the step says you open the jdgui okay you're going to see this logo and then after that the jdgui will appear as a window as you will see which will take a little bit of a minute like <laughs> yeah and now there are no files that are open, so we're going to open a file which is a jar file or other file. Actually, you can decompile using JDGUI. So open file, as you can see, you can decompile dot class dot year dot jar dot java dot log dot war dot zip like that. So I'll just use all. So now we're going to decompile this jar file. You click on the jar file and then you click open and there we go you just decompile you just decompile that jar file because inside this pong you have this class which you'll see the code in the right windows of the jdgui so if you click so if you double click see double, if so, so if you so if you click on the ball class you'll see that the code will be inside this window <laughs> it's really neat right you just need to like click like that and all of the source code will appear and then like after that you, maybe you'll create some project based on your first project on your source code like it's like uh pongs 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 <laughs> yeah pongs and um We'll create a class name ball. Yeah, ball. We'll create, we'll create by catch plus pong. We'll create a class name ball. We'll, 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 cre we'll create all the class that is inside this. So first ball, paddle, renderer, and then pong. Okay, so first we'll create pong. And then we'll create, then we'll create ball first, and then we'll create pat, and then we'll create renderer, and we'll create paddle, ball, and then renderer, and then paddle. Okay, so now we just have to copy all of this code inside this. First, like, let's just use the pong class pong.java paste and then the ball class copy and then paste and then the renderer class copy and then paste and then last the paddle class copy and then paste okay there we go it works really smooth no problem look at that no errors or no errors or nothing like it's super easy to do and now basically you can just run this project the way it should run on the jar file so you see before the jar file runs a kind of 
Pong game. Okay, and this project will also show the same thing because we use the same source code as it is on this on the jar file. Okay, you see it works a hundred percent. It is really easy to do, and you can do it on your own. Okay, so I guess uh, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe down below. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell. And I guess see you on the next video. And until then, happy coding.